Well, one of the worried farmers, Koos, phoned me and said, listen, Franz, can you maybe look at the white maize price? Now, I'm looking at the white maize chart, and this is the near contract. And look at the sell-off. I mean, um, from March the 4th, it lost ground from 3,250 rand all the way down to 2,500. That's a lot, almost 700 rand. But, Koos, let's have a look at the chart. First of all, I want to draw in this line. Let's get that. And it looks like worse that the, the stock wants to, or the instrument wants to give us a little bit of a bounce. There is a small descending channel here, but I'm looking at this falling wedge here because he's got a little bit of a longer term view. So I'm, I'm, I'm using a little bit more data to give him an idea. Now this falling wedge is trying to break up to the top and it did move yesterday above this level. That's positive for me, Chris. While it is above 26210, or 26110, um, you can easily see that this rise, uh, this falling wedge can play to the top. But look what we see here. There's a gap. There's another gap. There's another gap, another one, plenty gaps to the top. So, Chris, I think you must hold on to your mice. Um, it's not maybe time to sell now, but if you do want to buy, buy while it's above uh, 2608, but use this gap, I think, as your stop loss, and maybe a little bit lower, and that will be at 2,499. A little bit of a big stop loss. I'll rather use a tighter one. Um, I'll use 2,585 if I go, uh, go in at 2608. And this stock and ach, this instrument can easily go and close this gap and even these gaps. So I'm going to use the extension here. I just want to have a look here. There you are. There it, and let's just play it out to the top. There you are. There's that gap. It can probably go to 2,795 and even 2,830 if this falling wedge plays out. I just want to have a look at the stochastic. If I don't see anything that intrigues me there because the, this instrument was so under pressure for so long. Let's just have a look here. Well, there you are. Okay, okay, clear picture. And what do we see? We see a beautiful divergence here, a positive divergence. I just want to move that one and the viewers will immediately see what I'm seeing. Here. There you are. I think, Chris, you can hold on to your maze. This is a low, there's a higher low, beautiful positive divergence. The stock, the instrument is starting to move up. Hold on to your maze. I think it's not time to sell. And if you are a trader, maybe nibble because I think we can close that gap close to 2,800 rand. Well, Claire asked about Impala Platinum. And she said, listen, Franz, can we maybe look at the stock because um, I want to buy it in again. Let's have a look here. Impala Platinum. And remember, this was the dark first, and then later on it became the, the I mean, you can almost say, the, the, the darling of the market when it rallied all the way, I think, from 19 rand to above 70 rand. But, um, Claire, I'm, I'm looking at this chart, and it looks like to me that there's a little bit of a, a slow but surely uh, a puncture here, because let's have a look here. And I will show you what I'm seeing here, and then you will see what I'm seeing. There's a left shoulder. There's a big head, right? You can almost say that's also a head. Massive right shoulder, another right shoulder, and it's breaking down. So I would rather say I use this as a strong support, and I will look at a high, a lower high, and another lower high. And I'm a little bit nervous to buy the stock. I will say that if you want to buy it, let's have a look at the chart. Buy only above the neckline. That's at 56 rand and 18 cents. Use, oh, here's a gap. Maybe you must wait for this gap to close, and there's another gap, but I'm, I've got an idea that we can maybe first close this gap, and this gap will only close at 55 rand and 3 cents, and it will open up at 55 rand 22. And if I look at this, and I see this as an, inver uh, as an head and shoulder, where can it go to? It can go all the way, if it breaks down, it can go down all the way to 49.36. Although I'm a big fan of Impala Platinum from these 19 levels all the way up to 70 Rand, I'm a little bit nervous. But if you do want to buy, <clears throat> buy it above 56 Rand, make use of this stop loss of 55 Rand and 3 cents, and my targets to the top will be, if it rallies from there, uh, 59, 65, uh, 60 Rand, 72, and 61, 95. But um, this chart worries me a little bit because of these high, lower highs that I'm seeing here. 
Well, then we had a request on Woolies. And somebody wants to buy Woolies for the longer term. She's believing that uh, South Africa can maybe turn into a huge success economically. Mr. Ramaphosa is going to turn things around. But let's have a look at, him, at Woolies. And I'm looking here at a, a weekly chart, of course. Well, the trend is still clearly to the downside. Let's use a 40-week moving average here. Moving average, 40-week. Why do I use a 40-week? That's almost the same as a 200-day on a daily chart. Now, there you are. You can have a look here. Now, look at this. The trend is still clearly to the downside. Let's have a look if there's not a formation that can maybe trigger us, us to, to maybe buy the stock. Let's have a look here. And what do we see? We see a beautiful descending channel. That tells you that the momentum is clearly to the top. I see that the 40-week moving average is still a resistance. And um, I'm not that keen on buying it at the moment. I will wait for this descending channel to turn into a support before I will look at buying it. The descending channel will break to the top at above 52 rand and 40 cents. If it breaks to the top, it can go to 60 rand. And she said that she wants to buy it for the longer term. Let's just maybe see if there's not a, a little bit of volume or on balance volume. Let's just have a look on the on balance volume because that, that usually tells me that the institutional buyers are buying. Oh, no. For me personally, look at this on balance volume chart. This chart tells me that there's still some institutional sellers in the stock. Um, so I'm nervous. If you want to buy it, buy it above that level, but I'm going to give you a stop loss because this is still not convincing. I will use a stop loss of 43 rand 81 cents and only above this 40 week moving average. And that is at 50 rand and 6 cents. The first sign of technical strength will appear on the chart. And what worries me, look what happened in the past. Every time that it bounces just above that, it immediately pulls back. So that makes me a little bit worried just to go in and say, Willis is a buy. Let's have a look at MediClinic International. And there's a lot of investors that is, is keen on buying it. Um, I also like the company. Let's have a look here. Um, but it pulled back a little bit the other day. Let's have a look where it is now. Well, MediClinic International, there you are. It had a beautiful rally. And we, oh yes, it's a beautiful rally all the way from 56 Rand. We've seen a beautiful triple top here. Look at it. All those shadows give you a clear indication of a triple top. Look at these shadows. Everybody was keen to sell at around 66 Rand. Then it got sold off. But look at this hammer. This is maybe an inverse hammer that we can maybe eye. Because if this inverse hammer hits out the lows, there's maybe something on the go of MediClinic International. Let's just zoom it out to a little bit of a bigger picture. And what do I see? I see this hammer, but for me personally, I think we need to get back above this level to make me optimistic again. There you are. Let's have a look. There you are. And that will be at 66 Rand. That's about 5 Rand from here. But of course, we know there's plenty traders watching this, this show and they love to buy. And if they want to buy, look at this hammer. If you want to buy on this, Buy just above this hammer, that's at 62.54. The high of that hammer was 62.55, so buy just above 62.55. Make use of a stop loss of 60 rand and 22 cents, and your targets to this tweezer top here um, was 63 rand 41, 64 rand 28, and then of course 66 rand and 2 cents. Well, I think MediClinic International is going to maybe consolidate now again, but I think the fireworks will maybe start if the 66 rand can turn into a support. Let's have a look at one of the old favorites. That is, of course, Capitec. Capitec is flying, and everybody loves that, and everybody wants to buy it. But for me, I'm a little bit worried on Capitec because this is a weekly chart, and I've looked at this chart before. And I just want to remove that. Let's have a look at this chart. It rallied, and on the show, I think four or five weeks ago, I, I, I showed this. It rallied all the way away from this 40-week moving average. That made me worried, because every time that it does that, even there in 2015, look what happens. If it rallies away from the 40-week moving average, it's got the tendency to pull back. Even there, it rallied away, and it pulled back. Look, this beautiful rally all the way, but then the moment it gets stretched away from the 40-week moving average, 
it pulls back to that. And this is exactly what we're seeing here. We're seeing this pullback back to maybe this 40-week moving average. Now, that sits at around 1,148 rand and 23 cents. That's quite a while from here. In actual fact, this is almost a 150 rand drop from here. And look at this Lampel formation. This Lampel formation also seems a little bit trouble to me. But it did give us a pullback already from 1,440 Rand all the way down to 1,336. That's almost 100 Rand. But I want to use something else here. I want to use this trend line because this trend line holds the clue for me. Now, this trend line also supports the Lampel formation. And that tells you that, that the stock is is running just too steeply because look at this gradient it's well above 30 degrees and i love usually to look at the share when it goes 45 that's nice that's a nice gradient but the moment it starts to rally away like this i'm always nervous now the break below this line where it turned into resistance is 1348 rand and 70 cents that makes me a little bit nervous because if this little support line and trend line that moved that showed this beautiful rally or supported this rally, if that turns into a resistance, where's that target to the downside? First of all, it will be let's maybe just show the viewers where we get that because that's quite interesting. You can maybe do it on your charts as well if you if you uh, have a software package. The first one there is 1,310 rand. That is about 20 rand from here. Well, if that drops, it can go to 1,217 Rand. And the big support for me, believe it or not, just below this 40-week moving average sits for me at this level. And there you are. It sits at 1,109 Rand. And I think if this 40-week moving average is turning into a resistance, maybe in time, I mean, it's quite away from here, 1,148 Rand and 23 cents. If that turns into a resistance, it will be negative for Capitec. Well, thank you for watching. We'll talk again. All the best.